Let me read that again. Describe using mapping notation how the graphs of the following functions can be obtained from the graph of y equals f of x. So we're starting with the base function of y equals f of x. And what we're, what we're asked to do is to ask, we're asked to find out and to identify which parameters are being changed, right? Because this right here is y minus 0 equals f of x minus 0. That's what this is right here. And so the parameters, there's nothing being altered on this base function. So we want to look for h and k and find out what's happening. So we understand that in the format of x minus h, that uh, h is negative 10 because this is f of x minus negative 10. You see that? And that shows up as a plus. So h is uh, minus 10. Now that means that the whole graph moves to the left 10 units. So which coordinate is moving then? If it's moving left or right, it's the which coordinate? The y or the x? It's the x coordinate, right? And this number is inside the brackets with the x. So that's how you know that it's moving it. Now, so we're going left 10 units. So mapping notation says this. If you take x and y, okay, you're going to map the new function is going to be x minus 10 with the same y value. So that's your answer for A. Moving the whole graph, moving it left 10 units, means that you take every x value and you subtract 10. And then you put the new point. Okay? So, so let's just, for example here, okay, let's say we had this parabola, and I want to move this, so this is at 12, okay? So this graph right here, if y equals, this is y equals f of x, right? And you can see that. So this is y equals f of x, and I want to go, I want to map this new parabola, okay? Then what this means is that every point needs to go to the left 10 units, right? To the left 10 units, to the left 10 units, and to the left 10 units. So that I get, you know, this happening. So this is my new parabola. Right? And so what's happened there is the x values have all changed. We've subtracted 10 from the x values. The y values haven't changed. You see, we didn't go up or down. We just went straight left, and that's what this one says. Okay, does that clarify that? Yes. So mapping notation, however you read this, I mean, I, I think, I don't know if the, the textbook shows this a little bit differently, but x, y goes to, and you do x minus 10, comma, y. So I don't know how it says in the book, but... That's going to be close enough. So this one over here, okay, so what is uh, k? So k would be minus 6, right? And if you like to see this like y equals, you know, f of x, this would be minus 6. See that? So that means that everything has to go down 6 units. Everything goes down 6 units. Does the x change? No. So the mapping notation would look like this. Every point in the original function x, y would go like this. x stays the same y, you subtract 6 from all of the y values of the original points. Okay? And then, of course, let's do d as well, because d uh, represents a combination of a change with both x and y. So d says, I'll do this in red, that we have h equals positive 1 and k equals positive 3. And so x, y maps to x plus 1, you see, it's moving to the right, 1 unit, and y plus 3, because this would be a plus 3 over here, right? And so that means it moves up 3 units, so every y value goes up 3 units. So this is the mapping notation for d.